This is why sometimes you need to really work on your graphics. Poorly looking graphics can really fuck with your mind and you can't even tell what you're looking at right away. Yep. So this is an elevator that needs magic to operate. <laughs> As all uh, elevators tend to do. <laughs> at least that's what you think, because this is one of the first games that establishes uh, Dracula as someone who's into science. The magic is not working. So that magic is actually just powerful electricity. We have to get like uh, undead Nikola Tesla for this. <laughs> Damn. Let me try that. What again. do you think of the soundtrack so far? Very minimalist. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's all about ambience. Well, okay, I just took his jewels. <laughs> uh, yeah, first door. Front door. Da -da -da! Oh dear, this looks awfully familiar to me. <laughs> yeah, don't touch this area. Well, for now. Because <laughs> I know I'll have to be there. Yep. <clears throat> Did we ever get armored knights to fight? I found chicken in the armor. <laughs> oh, wait, these are just lizards. Those actually do spit poison. Oh wow, the poison did actually hit me this time. It surprisingly didn't do anything that I expected it to do. It just ah, hurt. Surprised. It, yeah, it just hurt. It... Oh, there you go. Yeah, it did that again. It just hurt. But, but the, the amount of damage it takes out over time is very minimal. Cure and pure. Yeah, use that. Get rid of the poison damage. I think it stacks though. So if they keep poisoning you, it'll actually start taking a little bit more damage. I cannot confirm that though. Well, I got a couple. I might as well. The ring to rid the body of the poison. Status Gucci. <laughs> That's what it should say. You know, isn't it convenient that poison enemies carry anti-poisons with them? Yeah, so they don't poison each other. You'd think they would be immune to their own poisons. Okay, this I mean, machinery in... looks a lot like the stuff you'd see in, like, Project Eden. <laughs> I'm not even making this up, this does look familiar. <clears throat> More children's cards. Sure oh dark boy. in that spooky room, but then it's lit. It's lit familiar. <laughs> what you got for me? Look, he just gr he grabbed his roast beef right by the balls. <laughs> <laughs> he took his beef. It says roast beef because it's censored. What he really wanted to say is got roast dick because he grabbed him by the dick. God. Now, even though I get nothing from picking these up, I still like picking them up anyway. Yeah. Just makes me feel better. Though, so, you know, it would be better if we could just walk into them and pick them up. It would save a little Which bit of the, time. There, there are two vampires here and they're a pain in the ass to deal with. Especially a scary. <sighs> I've been able to, like, counter that like bite they do by meleeing right as they they grasp that actually helps it's helped me but i i don't know how consistent it is i don't know if it was a chance thing when it happened because I, I like to say that i'm good enough at this game that i don't like they rarely ever actually manage to grab a hold of me but a couple of times when they've done it i've been able to smack them off well, I don't think it would help a lot if you're fighting multiple vampires. Yeah. Basically, the rule is if they take damage before they they lock onto the like into the animation, um you're good to go. Like they they'll they'll snap off. This camera angle.
This camera angle is just shit. Much like the timing for these firewalls. They could give the, you the, a little bit more time. Yeah, the center fireball is the one that, that, that hits you. Oh, the front one, actually, not the center one. There is a large crack in the wall. A powerful explosion will destroy it. If only I had some... Explosive. If yeah. I, if only I have obtained some plastic explosive. <clears throat> what is he holding on to? There are no handles. Here's another fun fact. What? Oh. What's he doing? Oh, the lizard's running. I can't hit him. Try talking to it. It's actually got a name. Uh, let me find it. I will give you some advice. To destroy the wall, you need both magical nitro and mandragora. Place them both in front of the wall. His name is Heinrich Mayer. <laughs> what a great name. It's like uh, Heinz uh, King. <laughs> the so, I will detonate the nitro in a powerful explosion. Heinrich Mayer was a merchant who was turned into a lizard man in 1847 after visiting the castle with the hopes of making sale. Has this material's disposal. Well, I don't think this is what you need to use to get anything going. Mm hmm. It sounds more like a place where you dump shit you no longer need. What are you doing here, kid? Don't you see all of these explosives here? You want to blow up? By the way, wanna buy some crack? <laughs> are you going to fight Dracula? Aren't you afraid? No, I'm here for uh, Darkula. <laughs> You're in the wrong place, Reinhardt. Why does everyone keep telling me that? I got the address right on Google Maps. <laughs> God. <laughs> and Google Maps in this world is just a cartographer's office. <laughs> and it's horribly outdated because the cartographer has been around places for like 10 years. <clears throat> you will die like wretches. Kid, if you call me like that again, I will whip you. Look at that, his face says that, I will whip you. <laughs> I think it also says, I wonder what he tastes like. <laughs> so what is this kid's Fucking damage? Kid. <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck is he talking about? Take the nitro? Do we take the nitro? Yeah, yes. Just running will not cause an explosion, but one jump or hit and the story's over. Carry it carefully. To demonstrate... That's what happens if you jump. So don't. <laughs> ah, and just to fuck with you, they put a save point on the box. You can still drag with it. Can I? Oh, thank goodness. That would have been a dick move. Yeah. They're not that evil. Warning attached. Danger. <laughs> so, yeah, so what I was trying to say, fun fact, originally, Reinhardt's name was Schneider Belmont. Schneider Belmont. It should have yeah. been Schneider Belmont. Well, Carrie, Carrie Fernandez was Carrie Eastfield. Hey, what's this? There seems no way to open it. Well, we could blow it up. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. This is starting to look uh, awfully dangerous. Now I absolutely must not get hit by these fucking things, or anything for that matter. Man, it's a good thing the vampires don't respawn. Yeah, see, see, 
uh, the one of the other characters that got scrapped, which you know makes a return in Legacy of Darkness, is the main character, uh, Cornell. His name was Cornell Reinhardt. Uh, Re the the now Reinhardt Schneider was Sch uh, Schneider Belmont. Carrie Fernandez was uh, Carrie Eastfield. Oh shit! Why would they do this? You, you forgot about it. <laughs> no, um, I was hoping he wouldn't do that. <laughs> Okay, you still have the thing on you. Yeah, I'm pretty um, sure I do. So, you remember that crack on the wall? Right yeah. outside this place? Yeah. Place it there, and then run run back to the to the torture chamber. So, the first floor. Oh yeah, we need to get some stuff. Because, yeah, this it's the most efficient and, yeah, time efficient way of doing it. So you go all the way to the torture room, you take the Mandragora, you place it on the one that has the seal, then go back, take another one, and then come all the way over here to place it. What the fuck? He, wait a minute, he missed his attack, the, you know, his lunge. That was weird. You interrupted it, actually, with a whip. What the... What the hell was that? Magic. Like that thing, that orb they throw. Oh, by the way, there's an upgrade there. Get the fuck off! What the Just hell? Just slap, slap him with melee right after that. There Wait a go. minute, that, he's not a real vampire. He didn't actually get you, damn. Yeah, status is good. What the fuck? He yeah. didn't do anything then. Oh yeah, well, I do need an upgrade now. Bastards. That could have gone bad, actually. It went pretty well. I was just about to say, why didn't I explode? <laughs> <laughs> um, Did I yeah. come out from this door? Yes. Feels good to be able to frolic once again. Ah, it's this place. It's very inconvenient that uh, smacking someone with your melee weapon with, with a sword is left on the D-pad. It's a very inconvenient button to use. Hmm. It's just too far away from the regular attack. There has to be an easier way to do this. Did I get... Yeah, this is the armor that I got this roasted dick from. <laughs> so, I'm reading up on the vampire thing. Um, so, um, in the original promotional videos, they could you could see uh, Reinhardt with the capability to use his whip to swing over large caverns. Or, you know, gaps. Oh, so you uh, know the Spider-Man. Plan... Yeah, and all of the original plan ideas was making it so that being turned into a vampire would create would lead to a different form of gameplay rather than making it just, you know, game over. The idea was dropped, unfortunately. Uh, it is rumored it. It's rumored that Konami had something similar in mind along the lines of Rareware's Conqueror's Bat Fur Day, where, where Conqueror gets turned into a vampire and is for to live out the lifestyle. Well, he does mm. get turned to a vampire, but that's only like for a chapter. The original idea for Cornell was to have him be close hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he would have the ability to climb up walls. Oh, like and, that and guy run, from or... Castlevania 3. Yes, yeah, like that guy. Go through the... Oh, I forget that I can't go through the fucking door. Nice camera, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Even in action view, I can't see anything. Or battle view. Why do I need to see this? This isn't important. Show me the fucking enemy. Die already? What the fuck? And the game was gonna have intertwining stories that would actually um, intertwine instead of being different versions of the story, like different personalized stories. Um, 
sounds neat. <laughs> yeah. For example, if you chose Carrie's quest from a, uh, then from a story point of view, the player can assume that Reinhardt never ventured into Castlevania, otherwise they would have met. But the game could could be said of the ca the same could be said of the Castlevania bloodlines, where at the end only Jordan Morris or Elie Ricard stand Morris. triumphant. Yeah. But the idea of intertwining storylines was explored in Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Luckily enough. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Uh, why can't this just stay open? Why do I close it after myself? What's the point of that? Fucking magic? <laughs> I like how they explode a little bit every time you hit them with that whip. God damn it! God. And it's so annoying that it can't get them off of you for so fucking long. It seems like it's fucking chance if you're gonna avoid getting hit by these bastards or not. Wait, do you have the Mandragora on you? No, I didn't get to the torture chamber yet. Oh, fuck. And look at that. I got turned into a vampire again. Because the stupid melee trick that you said I should do didn't do anything. I can't even attack for some reason. He didn't do anything. Like, I couldn't yeah, even use the melee damn. weapons. This shit I really fucking hate. Why <clears throat> have these things? They're not interesting. I mean, sure, you could make them interesting if you finished working on them. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously that wasn't the case. Nobody finished working on this idea, so now it's just a piece of shit that's really fucking annoying. Yeah, it's, it's there. It's just there. It's not even helpful or anything. Like, there's no reason to have this uh, feature. It's just getting in the way. And what do I do if I don't have a fucking uh, purifying stones anymore? Where am I gonna get more? I hope that was all of them. Yeah, it looks like it was. Hmm. I sure could use an upgrade to my whip already, but none of these damn torches drop anything. Yeah, sure, holy water. How about holy go fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Currently reading through a bunch of the development of this game. What is it? Since we're say? on the topic. <laughs> I'm reading about the stages. Um. We tried to Let's do a see. thing, but then we decided not to, because we were lazy. <laughs> yeah, they were on a time constraint. That's why you should never develop things on time constraints. It never fucking works out. Why do people for keep putting themselves oh, in God. such situations apparently, anyway? Apparently, for those who found the game hard, it was meant to be harder. Harder? Yeah. The stage, on, like stage, the stage design was gonna be harder. Um, mm. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Let's make an already annoying fucking game even more annoying. I so the villa, the, the villa, the stage you went through earlier, mm. um, the villa was gonna be littered with more enemies. More. The enemies that were planned for the villa were the Cerberus and the Spider Woman for the castle entrance and the front of the villa entrance. Bomber Skeleton was gonna be there. Vampires in the first floor, the long room filled with ghosts, and the underground dungeon. Well, I'm glad they decided against it because it would have made the game even more obnoxious. 
Currently looking at the screenshots from the Wayback Machine. Yeah, it would have had vampires. The villa would have had vampires. So the villa would have been more like a Resident Evil kind of thing, but with vampires instead of zombies. Um, the lizard man would be at the hedge maze, a pillar of bones inside, and blood demons inside the hedge maze. And the Frankenstein gardener would be inside and outside the hedge maze. And outside. God damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad they decided against that. So anyway, we have some mandragora. And thankfully, this is a lot safer to carry around. Because, you know, yeah. it's not made to explode on every fart you do. So, you want to drop that one where the big chamber with the bull is, and then go back kill those vampires again and grab another Mandragora and then go back to the wall you were gonna blow up. Alright. Won't I need mm -hmm. another one? Oh wait, I only need two no. each. Yeah. Right, right. Let's see. I still need to get through that seal. Mm 